Hello there, Rule the Waves fans of YouTube. This is Noname Moment 7 Spore, and today we are continuing our playthrough as Austria Hungary with a starting date of 1900. As a reminder, this series was originally live streamed on Twitch. Links to it and my personal Discord are in the video description below. This was only streamed in 720p, so that is what the video quality is going to be. And this series took place across the original three versions of the game, all of which are currently outdated. With all that out of the way, let's get on to today's episode. Okay, uh, we are gonna halt the construction on that, or that one right now. I am no longer planning on invading. We just... Oh, they are blockaded, though. No, I don't think we have the fleet superiority to do it. We need to keep up the blockade and try to collapse them again. That should be our goal here. Nice! Uh, yeah, we can get by with less resources for a time. Marsala has been interned. Nicely done. We can do a coastal bombardment at Ancona. Declining gives him... I don't... It's gonna be a battle cruiser engagement. Nice! Okay, okay. Ships from our ally, Great Britain. What do we have? Okay, so that's our dreadnought division. We have all of that. How and Camperdown formed on uh, Urzara Car Carl. Nice, two uh, two decent pre-dreads. What speed are they? They are 18 knots. Well, we'll stay at 18 knots then, but yeah. you guys, uh, I don't like you being independent. Farm on uh, Howie, or how, as a core group. Yeah, it seems like the... Uh, Independent battle cruiser division no longer exists in the game for whatever reason. Where the hell are you guys going? Maybe Britain has a uh, additional technology we don't. All right. We made our move at the right time there. Um, yeah, that was a well-timed turn, realizing that uh, day was going to break, and then uh, we wanted to be broadside to them in that time. So this war here has been just dominated by fleet battles. General Bird wants more wreck for his wreck throne. Yes. Does General Bird want out, or Admiral Birdie? Hey, Birdie. How you doing? Uh, to get off took a hit, unfortunately. Did land a hit? Okay, did I? Or the hit on to get off is, uh, minor. How about a suicidal charge with destroyers? I'm not feeling very confident on that right now. As much as I would want to... What are you doing out there? Support. Support unit now. Why did you approach close to the enemy battle line? Why did you think that was even remotely a good idea? Okay, so we're scoring hits on uh, that battleship right there. Which one are you guys targeting? Target the lead division. Ships are being derpy and suicidal at any rate. Which ones are you guys targeting? Uh, it looks like our whole fleet is targeting uh, one division too far back. Yeah, you're targeting the correct one then. Okay, Andrea Doria hit. Uh... Took a uh, nasty hit on uh, Rebus Unitas. Bit of flooding. Uh, we can keep it in battle for a while. Let's go down on the enemy, uh, Andrea Doria. Now, these Italian battleships here seem to be 
holding up pretty well to fire. Like, way better than ours. Now, that being said, you know, we don't have as much of a belt of these things. We went more for more firepower. These are 12, 13-inch guns, and they have a bit bigger of a belt than us. Although their 13-inch guns are a little worse. Okay, so they're curving their line. I'm gonna curve my line a little bit, too. What are you guys? You guys are scout division. Go to a support. Is suggesting the DD thing because we're losing a dozen DDs. Yeah, but you... You usually have to time it well. And I'm not really building a lot of destroyers right now, is the thing. Um, as much as much as a suicidal destroyer rush can net you, sometimes, actually pretty often, it doesn't actually really net you much other than a bunch of sunk destroyers and not much else. You need to time it right, it needs to be at the right time of, or in the right era, and we're kind of at the borderline of that. Oh, nice! A recon airship! The recon airship's on the map! We are reconning these guys! Oh, that's cool. That's cool. We have one at Apollo reconning the area. Oh, that's neat. Alright, um... So... Yeah, uh... Unfortunately, they are engaging the aft end of our line right now. Oh, they put a lone destroyer against our force up here, so I'm going to turn it slightly this way. And then turn it back this way. Oh. Turn it that way. Keep the pressure up. We are scoring multiple hits on them. Uh, you guys are still targeting the enemy dreadnought division. In this war, recon then torp them. <laughs> Where did our uh, zeppelin go? Is that airbase Pola? Does it show? I don't think it shows anymore. Where our uh, zeppelin is, it overflew them. It's probably out of our visual range, or maybe it got shot down. I hope it didn't get shot down. They're doing a destroyer rush against me, and they actually timed it pretty well here. Now, in front we have the CL Arethusa. Yeah, see that destroyer rush didn't really do much other than getting my force to turn. Now would be like a horrible time to try to do it, because they're going this way. Typically, the best time to destroy a Russian enemy is when they are charging into you. That's when you want to hit them with the destroyer charge, because that's going to give them the least amount of room to maneuver to avoid your torpedoes. And that's going to give you the highest chance of uh, sinking enemy ships while not losing your own. Now, I'm going to speed up my uh, dreadnought division here with the intent of trying to catch some of these pre-dreadnoughts out. So we're firing at that guy right now. From, uh, to get off and, uh, Viribus. And what we probably want to do is probably want to swing them slightly to the side and get that last, uh, gun firing. Okay. Good. Our ships limit their flooding. Um, it looks like their dreadnoughts turning in. Scored a hit on one of them. Score another hit. That's good. Our hits really are not doing what we want them to. Okay, I'm gonna angle a little bit away. Because part of that chase was me just wanting to try to uh, hit their pre -dreads. Now, are submarines operating in this area right here? Maybe it can get a lucky torpedo on one of these guys. Hopefully. 
Although it is U13, so it's probably not a very lucky boat. Alright, turn back in. They're still running. That one's circling around, or... Or is it rudder jammed? Ah, uh, it was circling around. There we go. So I assume we have... Yeah, we have all our guns firing right now. They are gonna probably get into port here. Something's damaged enough for them to get it in... Or want to get it into port. Come on, lucky hit from the sub. Lucky hit on something from the sub. Fellow bet signals misunderstood. That could have been a lot worse of a uh, pop-up message. So, the British Battle Division has misunderstood signals. Unfortunately, we are starting to sail into mine territory here. So, that's a little concerning. And last time we had a fleet battle, we did lose a destroyer to a mine. Which was uh, not a very good thing to happen. If I do say so myself. Alright. They're turning. They're turning that way. Away from port. Um, we're, we have to turn soon, too, so I think doing an outwards turn this way is our best option. And then we'll come at them at about that angle. I thought briefly uh, night was about to set, but it appears not. Okay, Birdie's being quiet today. They're probably waiting for their last uh, Dreadnought to catch up there. Can you actually hit it? Because if that guy's damaged badly, or if that guy has some issues, uh, that might be a good uh, target. Oh, it does look like they're just trying to reform it. No. You know what, can I cancel assigned uh, targeting? Which one's closest? Um, yeah. You are, yeah, you're still targeting them. So anyway, which is the closest battleship division? Target that one. The more damage we do to these guys, the better. And if we do get them to sail into port... Oh, unidentified land structure. Uh, which... That guy. Target that guy. Uh, Viribus took a hit. Arethusa took a hit. Are you guys still on scout? You're on support now. Can you go to, uh... Screen? Maybe? Arethusa signals misunderstood. Not good. Okay. Oh, and also, guys, how do you think I should do... Like, when I post these to YouTube, they are going to be the uh, live streams as shown here. But, um... Should I try to split them up into multiple episodes or just, like, release them as archived live streams? I also do want to do, like, a uh, picture cover for them. So there's an unidentified land feature there. I don't know what that is. 4-inch coastal battery. If this fleet goes into port, I say we knock out the coastal battery and just get or get some extra points from doing so. Archive feels better. Okay. Um, where are... What's in the lead right now? Uh, 
He's still targeting them. Should probably target whatever that one in the lead is. So is that a Regina? Or Green? No, Geisip Capraldi. There's that Amalfi. Ah, target that Amalfi class. So I don't know what that one's doing right there. Something odd. You hate trickle down episodes? Once, whenever the dude feels like doing it. Alright, unfortunately, we're running out of ammo. And our ships need to clean their grates as well, so, uh, that's gonna slow us down. I don't think we can continue on this fight much longer here. That being said, I would not be surprised if Italy is having the same issues as us. Uh, to get off took a hit. Okay, what is the closest one to us? That guy. Sink it. Go 17 knots. Let the other ships catch up. And our current goal is probably going to be to head back to Pola. Running for ammo, though, DD might get lucky. They might. Hegeland uh, took a nasty hit, it looked like. I'm going to... I'm going to say rush the destroyers in. So that is... Yeah, target the... Helgeland signals misunderstood. Yeah, I'll try the destroyer rush. Ah, they're not... They're not going in the right direction, though. That one we could maybe hit. Um, but this is going to be most of their heavy guns knocked out, not their light guns. Uh, actually, one of those is kind of now sailing in the right direction. That might be a good target. Oh, 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 they're getting close. Yeah, we have forced them this way. They are now turning around. Yeah, our destroyers are getting pretty close to them. I wouldn't be surprised if we lose one or two here. Unfortunately, you know, they're kind of holding back a little bit too much to actually properly get any hits. I'm going to cancel the attack. See? Didn't get anywhere. They are going the wrong direction. Fortunately, we have taken some uh, severe hits to our uh, battle line here. And that that's why I didn't think that a destroyer attack was really going to work. On the other hand, we are now reporting heavy damage on that ship right there. Although we are so low on ammo, I'm not really sure we can keep up the fight. Actually, now might be a time for Destroyer Rush. No, that, that's forced them to turn around. Because that ship was kind of headed towards us. Yeah, all of our battleships now have less than 20% of ammo remaining. Honestly, we might need to carry more uh, AP on board our battleships at this rate with how uh, quickly we expend it all. So there's one back there. See, this isn't achieving much. Maybe, maybe we could hit this one. But now it's turning into port. Yeah, our destroyers just can't get close. Yeah, rescue the survivors. You know, this is the enemy AI being good. They're pulling away from us. 
Although now might be the time. Now they're coming back at us. Nope, they're turning back around. Much as I would like to take one of those out, I think they're going to make it into port. Yeah, Kurzula has sunk. Iruna's has picked up survivors. One more flotilla attack. And uh turn our ships north to Zara or north to Zara. What shape is uh Hugoland in? Hugoland's back here. Now I can make twelve. Get them to turn around one more one more time. Okay, there we go. We actually loosed a destro or a torpedo in this attack. It's not gonna hit anything. I don't think. No, we have forced them to turn around once more though. Uh, that guy is kind of coming back. No, he's circling. Yeah, cancel the torpedo attack. Wait, no, no, no. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. We have maybe an opportunity here. Okay, we have fired a torpedo into the enemy formation. It's probably not going to hit anything. That one could. But probably won't. And, yeah, cancel it. <sighs> we really never got a good torpedo attack chance there. We got some okay ones, but a lot of it was like, maybe just get them to turn around. Alright, we're going at Haugaland's maximum speed to port now. Um, Velibit has spotted a submarine. So Velibit's there. It's a swerve off course. Theus must have taken uh, flooding damage then. Yeah, detach. Yeah. Okay, so we lost two destroyers. We did. We definitely did more damage to their uh, battle line than they did to ours. We actually did some damage to that one. And does that one just slow down? Yeah, 13 knots. Vir um, Virbus took some damage. That one also took some damage. Uh, and then Amalfi took some hits too. But yeah, wound up losing uh, two destroyers for like no gain. Well, not no gain, but no enemy ship sunk. Thank you all for watching. As a reminder, the like and subscribe buttons exist. Do with them as you please. If you want to watch my live streams from which this video originates, you can go to my Twitch page. And if you want to keep up with the live streams and interact with my nearly non-existent community, you can join my Discord. Links to both are in the description below. Goodbye, everyone.